everybody, welcome. And I, as you may or may not know, I made some hot pepper relish from peppers and cucumbers from my garden a while back, and I gotta use it up. So it dawned on me that this would flavor up deviled eggs. And so that's what we're gonna do today, and it's gonna be yummy, and I get a chance to use up my relish. The first thing we have to do is hard boil our eggs. So let's get some water into this pan with these. Enough to cover, and now we're going on the stove. I've got the burner on high, and these guys will be boiling up pretty soon. And we're gonna boil them for about one minute. I like to, what I, the way I like to do it is to bring them up to the boiling point, cover them, and just let them sit on the burner and cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna put them in a ice water bath to cool them down a lot. We have reached our boil, and we don't want it to hard boil for too long because the eggs will crack and break. So we're gonna let this go for a few more seconds. And I'm gonna turn off the heat, and now we're gonna put the cover on. Take them off the heat. When these eggs have reached the part, have reached the point where they're touchable, then we're gonna transfer them to the ice bath, the ice water bath. Our eggs are surely fully hard boiled. It's time to put them in the ice water bath, chill them up. I think I'm gonna add a little more ice. Next thing we're gonna do is peel off the shells when they're completely cool. Our eggs are all ready to get peeled. And here we go. Our eggs are all peeled up, hard boiled and peeled. And now we're gonna cut them in half. all cut in half. And now we're going to put the yolks in a bowl. I like to stretch open the whites, loosen them up a little bit, and then get a spoon and pop them in. Okay, we're gonna keep going until all the yolks are out. Our yolks are all out and in the bowl. I'm gonna put them on a plate and keep them in the refrigerator while we, while we make the filling. So they stay cold and fresh. And here are our yolks. And here are our whites going in. Season these yolks with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to add a, more than a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Not much more, but then we might have to add some more later. Let me see how it goes some yellow mustard. And in comes our hot pepper relish. I'm gonna use some of the juice to keep it from getting too lumpy. Mash this all up with a fork. Let's see how it comes out. Our egg yolks are all smashed up with our ingredients and everything is well seasoned. 
And now we're gonna build our deviled eggs. I added a little more of the relish solids. Mix those in. Okay, all mixed in. Ready to rock. We're gonna transfer our deviled egg filling into a piping bag. Scrape in as much as we can. Okay, now we're gonna fill up our egg white paps. Pushing this egg mixture down so we can fill up all the eggs as much as we can. That's a good way to do it. And let's hope we make it. One more scrape. Okay, we're all filled up and now we're gonna serve them up. I had some pepper do peppers in my refrigerator and those are gonna go nice with the hot pepper relish. So what we're gonna do is cut little garnish pieces out of these. We're gonna decorate our deviled eggs. We're all garnished up with our pepperdus and they're gonna be so good. And now we're gonna transfer them to a pretty little plate, just a few, and we're gonna take a taste. Maybe just a couple. We'll save the rest for later. Here's the ones we're gonna taste on a plate and the rest are stored in a deviled egg container that I got from my mother years and years ago. I'm gonna cover these up and put them in the fridge. And we're gonna enjoy the heck out of them as we go on. Thank you for joining me while I used up the most of my remaining hot pepper relish and made these yummy looking deviled eggs. And we'll see if they're yummy tasting too. They definitely did come out delicious and that was fun and productive and we will see you again soon.